the basics at the start is about safety. George isn't old enough to hold a driving licence. Preferably not killing anyone, including ourselves. But he is old enough to learn about the dangers of being on the road. But look off to your right, make sure there's nothing coming. Children as young as 11 are taught how to drive safely at this North London driving centre. The earlier they start, the better it is for them. The more experience they gain, um, it's a positive step in the right direction because, again, it's a lifesaver. Not every family has access to courses like these, and some believe they should be made universal. Raid crashes are the single biggest killer of 15 to 24 year olds. Nearly all drivers interviewed in a recent survey say the government is failing to improve road safety. And now, more than three quarters want driving skills to become a compulsory part of the national curriculum. But what do the children think? It will be quite good experience because most people don't have the opportunity to come to like a place like this. So it will be, yeah, I think it will be a good idea. It's not that easy and you have to be aware of much more than it looks like. Parents here see it as a way of combining fun with education. It is something that, that kills a lot of teenagers, you know, in that age group. So actually it's something that becomes something fairly normal, something you have to learn to do, rather than that I want to go in a car and I want to drive very, very fast. It just gives them the basics, so when they go out on the road, it's not so daunting that they're not watching the cars, they, they know how to change gears. Just about everyone needs to drive these days, and I think the sooner you can learn the mechanics of it, the better. Campaign groups insist more needs to be done in order to save young lives. Placing children behind the wheel instead of a desk is one possible solution. But in a time when the government's putting the brakes on spending, it's also an expensive one. Hint Hassan, Sky News.